I don't know if you can see what that was about. But we're gonna take a look here. We have a maggot generator here. And it makes maggots. Now that sounds kind of gross. Because it did me at first too. But you take anything that's died and you put it in a bucket. And the flies, they fly into the holes of the bucket and they start decomposing. And they stink. <laughs> but that's why you don't have your chicken coop right next to your house. <clears throat> but that's all you need. You just need a five gallon bucket. And if you find something dead alongside the road, like a cat or a dog or or anything that dies, you know, the flies are the cleanup crew. And the maggots are great food for the chickens. So what we're doing is we're allowing nature to naturally provide the food for our animals. It doesn't cost anything. It gives them a variety of uh, diet. You know, well, because there's maggots and then there's foods and vegetables that we uh, throw out here from the kitchen scraps. And they scratch up the soil and they turn soil that really isn't worth anything, um, or dirt that really isn't worth anything, into soil that is. And so what we do is we throw our compost out here, and you know some of the stuff isn't uh, compostable, like the aluminum foil. But if you leave it out here a little bit, um, the bugs <laughs> um, clean it up. And then uh, if you put it uh, out outside, you know, the rain, when it falls out of the sky, it, it cleans it up. And then we can use it in a, a forge, and then we can be making new things out of aluminum after nature's cleaned it up for us. And the papers and stuff, what we do is we dig holes, and we dig the holes about three feet deep, or two feet deep, you know, depending on soil conditions and your level of intensity that you desire to outputting for a hole. And we put all the paper um, and compostables that aren't like uh, breaking down very quickly. Uh, we put those in the hole, and we layer it with some dirt and some manure and some straw and some branches. And yeah, we're just putting. Yeah, th this is like one of their favorite spots. Is right underneath the maggot generator. Some of, the, some of the maggots, they, they fall down, they think they got a free run for it, and then the chicken comes over, scratches them up, and turns them into eggs. So, something that we desire a little bit more. So, you know, instead of feeding the animals unnaturally and eating the, the product of them, we're feeding them naturally and then eating the product. So, turning something less than desired into something desired is an aspect of alchemy. And that's what homesteading and permaculture and being independent is about. It's about taking less than desired things and turning them into desired things. And they don't get too much bread, but there's a couple pieces that we hadn't left over. So now we figured they can have that. I wouldn't make it as their primary diet, though, for anybody considering buying bread for your chickens.